Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are opening up Jumpstart 2022. And this is, this is a box break, but we're not breaking it. This box belongs to one man and one man alone. It goes by the name of The Butcher. And he said he wants all of the goodies for himself. So, 24 packs to make that dream come true. Good luck to you, sir. Looks like our first pack is going to be ferocious. If I can open these, I'll show you what's inside. We've got Creeper Hulk. We're going to fill it up with a Bonders Enclave for our rare land cycle. That's the first rare land that I have seen in this set so far. Next up we have Holy. And we have Blessed Sanctuary. That's a nice looking anime art. Merfolk. We have Harbinger of the Tides, followed by Wake Thrasher. Seems to be a very common one. And remember, these are broken down by common, uncommon, rare, and mythic. Common, I believe you can get 16. Uncommon, I believe you can get six. Rare, I believe you can get, uh, I think it's, maybe it's uncommon is four. No. I think it's six, 16, six. I don't know, I don't know how it's broken down. Night pack ambusher, but uh, in the end, you can get up to two mythic packs. Hey, you got the Arlen. Great hit. This is the one that I've been looking for. Uh, you can get two Mythic Packs per box. I believe you get four of the rares and then uncommon and common. So you will get duplicates. Some of these are not going to be as great as others. That's just with any pack. All right, holy. We've got Lyra Dawnbringer for our Mythic. where Lyra sits right now as far as her pricing goes it's been kind of uh, hit or miss obviously with the new set as each day goes on cards are going to ebb and flow until they eventually begin to settle we have magmatic channeler it's really tough to say if things are going to settle right now especially just with how wizards and magic is right now everything is incredibly volatile especially in this post Magic 30, like, era. So it's really tough. Um, and it's really tough, too, because they keep releasing so many sets. Again, we've had a set, like, almost every month. And it gets a little out of control. So, you know, we're just coming off of Brothers War. We're into Jumpstart 2022 now. We're fully into Jumpstart. And then within a month, I think we have... Um, Dominaria Remastered coming, and um, we will be doing that on this channel. We will be doing a lot of Dominaria Remastered. We have Renati for our next rare. We will be doing a ton of Dominaria in this, uh, in this channel. So if anybody wants to get in on one of those breaks, let me know. But I'll tell you now, um, the, just the price that they're at, that it's going to be expensive. Um, I think they're already sitting at about $250 a box. And I don't know that I'm going to get my hands on any of the um, any of the collector boxes. I think it's just... They've been sold out, and the store that I typically ship with, uh, that I shop with, is... Uh, I, I haven't seen and I haven't heard much of what they're going to do. They said their allocation's pretty low. 
uh, and they're a huge store. So we'll see what happens. We have Elvish Warmaster. Where are the good ones? Unlucky 13. Asking you shall receive. Hope you get the Tree of Perdition. Boom. So this one is pretty consistent. I think this is only maybe a one of one. I don't think that there's a variance in that unlucky 13. I think that's just always going to be that one. We have Detective with Mechanized Production. Nice magnifying glass. The anime cards, I'm telling you, those cards are going to be sought after. What happened to, to these cards? Wait, what? These cards are bent. Oh. You have a factory damaged card. You got some roller marks on there, my friend. These are all bent. Oh, yeah. How did you get so lucky? Well, Butcher, I don't know this is going to increase the value. I don't think Ben's typically do, but uh, you definitely have a talking piece on that set. Let's hope there are no more like that, but I will keep an eye out. I, uh, I, I do tend to like errors yeah there's like a smearing on this one like some like somebody was eating Lay's potato chips and they just touched the back of this card huh all right back to the merfolk we've got Svelan for our reprint synchronized eviction Weird. I should really check into the rest of these cards, and maybe I'll do that uh, after we're done with this video and just see see what the damage is to them all. Eldrazi is our next one. Nothing here. No damage on. It's like some scuffs. Some scuffs along the way. You know, I thought they might have gotten better with the, with the QA. Yeah, I see right there. The quality on this one, but uh, it, it looks like it. Same thing. It's like somebody was eating those potato chips. Anyway, we have the World Breaker, followed up by Endbringer. Yeah, it's like somebody was going through and eating, and they just touched all these cards, and that's what you got. So, the... Um, the error community eats these cards up, but they have to be like pretty jacked up in order for them to, to put a lot of value to them. You know, if it's a common card that's got some damage to it, uh, they don't really care that much. Even this one. So, yeah. Constellation gives us Sigil of the Empty Throne, followed by a Sage's Reverie in the anime. Right, last pack of middle. Goblins, we still have not gotten our hands on an Urza. Butcher, I hope that would be you. Just because I'm curious again. So there's more spearing in the bottom here, and then there's like a scuff or a cut or something. We've got Krenko. Okay, and we're on to our last card. Last, uh, last couple of packs here we have Detective. And 
that is more. I don't know, man. You'll have to look at these cards up when you get them and tell me what you think. Because uh, I, I feel like once you start getting some of these problems, I think they just kind of spiral. And, uh, yeah. This was pretty clean. Blink gives us a meal the blessed. And we have a out of place planes. Okay. Hmm. All right, definitely a strange set of circumstances with these packs so far. Go to school. Sir, I hope this one has the Ristic study for you. This one looks pretty good. Boom. Congratulations. Big hit. Big, big hit. I think this is still between the $30 to $40 area. So... Great hit, congratulations. We have zombies. That comes with Liliana's Mastery. All right, last couple of packs. So not, not a huge home run. Uh, Ristic Study is definitely a great card, and it definitely helps out with this, but uh, we're missing a lot of the key ones. We're missing, like, the Ash Coat. Uh, we still have not seen Balin or Lita. We did get a Chandra. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think what some of the other ones are in this set. We opened Preston. Preston was uh, was a pretty decent one. I think that's still sitting around ten to ten to twelve dollars. Uh, we have not gotten a Karn. We haven't got the monkey. Ophiomancer. All right, two more packs left. Two more to you, sir. Inventive, still no Urza. That is proving to be a very difficult theme to find. Inventive comes with Steel Overseer and Thopter Spy Network. That's cool. And last one. What did we think? Were we happy with this? I think this wasn't a bad one. I think there's tons of playable cards in here. And I think overall, I'd be okay with this. Seafloor Oracle. But you tell me what you think. Mr. Butcher, it has been a pleasure. That is your last pack. I hope you enjoy the cards that are in here, and I will have these packaged up and shipped out to you in the next couple of days. If you guys like this video and you want to see more like it, you can go ahead and hit the button down below to subscribe. If you like this video in general and you want to let me know, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, you can hit the thumbs down. It's okay. And that's it. That is the video. There is another one coming out very soon, and I will catch you guys all on the next video.